Have you ever been setting up your qPCR experiment and been stuck trying to decide which reverse transcription or RT method to use? You're not alone. We've received quite a few questions about RT methods, so I thought it might be a good idea to learn about what methods are out there and why choosing the right method matters. So let's get technical and look at our lab book. There are two primary approaches to reverse transcription for qPCR, known informally as two-step or one-step methods. In the two-step approach, the first step is reverse transcription of the RNA to generate first trans cDNA, or complementary DNA. At this point, the cDNA can be stored or moved to the second step. In the second step, the second strand cDNA is generated and real-time detection is performed. The other method, known as one step, is where the reverse transcription and amplification are performed together in the same tube. Pretty self-explanatory nomenclature, right? So how do you know which method to choose? The two-step method is required when analyzing multiple targets and separate reactions using the same cDNA. For instance, one cDNA synthesis could be used to detect 10 different gene expression targets. You can also store the cDNA for later use with the two-step approach. And this is the preferred method for use with limited sample quantities. Conversely, when using the one-step approach, the cDNA cannot be stored and the experiment is limited to multiplex constraints when looking at multiple targets because everything occurs in that one reaction. However, this approach is faster and doesn't require as much hands-on time. The one-step method is great for use with liquid handling robotics, which can reduce the chance of cross-contamination and pipetting errors. Useful for high-throughput gene expression analysis, the one-step method is great for RNA virus detection, where specific detection can generally be accomplished in a single multiplex reaction and time to results is particularly important. Now that you've decided which approach to use for your experiment, you can move on to making other decisions, like selecting the right reagents and detection method, TACMAN or CyberGreen. To help with this decision, we have an Ask TACMAN video dedicated to qPCR reagent selection called Choosing the Right Master Mix. We also make it easy to find the best reagents for your chosen RT and qPCR detection method with the handy online selection guide available on the thermofisher.com website. So whether you're doing gene expression analysis, RNA virus detection, make sure to choose the reverse transcription method best for your experiment. It can make a world of difference. If you have more questions on RT methods or any other qPCR questions, remember to ask TACMAN and submit your questions on our website, thermofisher.com/ask. Thanks for watching.